following is a pre-recorded paid political broadcast sponsored by the Democratic National Committee on behalf of President Johnson's candidacy for the office of president. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. This presidential election is the most important that we've had in our lifetime. We can all remember many hard-fought campaigns, but in nearly all of them, the candidates agreed on the proven principles of American life. Today, those basic principles themselves are under attack. What does this mean for our national prosperity? In the past 30 years, our national wealth and the value of all that we produce has risen from $72.5 billion to $618 billion. The American free enterprise system is the greatest success story ever told. This prosperity is not an accident or a gift. We worked for it, built it, earned it. We have developed the skills of our people through education and training in agriculture. We have developed the wealth of our land through power and dams and roads. We have developed an economy of hope and confidence through social security and unemployment compensation and farm programs. This partnership is not the act of any single administration. It is the work of men of both parties constructively building together, faithful to free enterprise, resolving differences, reasoning together, fixed on the common goal of American prosperity. The result has been our growing abundance. The result has been our growing freedom. Today, all the principles that we fought for are under the heaviest and the severest attack. That attack endangers our prosperity. We are told that we should withdraw from education and public power and REA and agriculture and other vital programs developed over the generations. We are told that we should end Social Security as we know it, sell TVA, eliminate farm programs, and reduce our protection against harmful food and drugs. We are told the object of the opposition's leadership is to repeal laws, not to pass them. This is not a conservative philosophy. It is not a Republican philosophy. It is a radically different philosophy. It is a point of view which would not hesitate to shatter the institutions and values and principles on which our present prosperity and our hopes for the future are based. But we offer you a different choice. My administration will be guided by the proven principles of our past experience. We will offer you the same responsible government which has cut the budget and is giving you a dollar's value for a dollar spent. We will also work to end poverty, to extend our abundance to all who are willing to work for it, and to meet the problems of a growing America. We want our children to look back, as we can do, to another generation of progress. That is the choice that you must make. I have no doubt which course you will choose to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just heard a message from the President of the United States, Lyndon B. Johnson.